You may have watched the other video that solved this problem look using the 6895-99.7 rule. That rule is sometimes called the empirical rule. The empirical rule states something about the area under a normal curve, or under a curve in general, any curve that's close to a normal curve, will have 68% of the population within one standard deviation of the mean, 95% within two standard deviations, and 99.7 within three standard deviations. We'll take this opportunity to examine the empirical rule. We could use p-norm to find this green area, that is the area below one standard deviation of the mean. If the mean is, is 51 and uh, the standard deviation is 9, then one standard deviation above the mean is going to be at 60. So the area below 60 is the area below one standard deviation of the mean. This blue area represents one, the area below one standard deviation below the mean. If the mean is 51 and the standard deviation is 9, then one standard deviation below the mean is uh, 42. So the area below 42 is that blue area. If we took the green area, subtracted the blue area, then we'd know the area within one standard deviation of the mean. So let's do that calculation in R. We'll look at mu, uh, we'll look at p-norm of mu plus a standard deviation, which is the green area minus the p-norm of mu minus a standard deviation, which will give us the uh, the area within one standard deviation of the mean. 68% of the population is within one standard deviation of the mean. Now let's, uh, <clears throat> let's adjust that script and go two standard deviations, within two standard deviations of the mean. So now let's go within two standard deviations of the mean. So we'll change this to two standard deviations, mu plus two standard deviations, and this one to mu minus two standard deviations. Then if we run that script, that, uh, that we've got 95.4%. Uh, that's where the 95 point, that's where the 95 is coming from in this 68, 95, 99.7 rule. And within three standard deviations, you can do the same thing. <clears throat> Plus three standard deviations of the mean and minus three standard deviations of the mean. And you run that script, 99.7%. That's where that's coming from. Now in this problem, we wanted to find the area between 60 and 69. That, that means that, well, 60 is really one standard deviation above the mean. 50 plus 9 is, is 60. And notice that 69 is really two standard deviations above the mean. So they're looking for this area that's right in here. I guess I should have built you a picture of that, but it's just that area between one standard deviation and two standard deviations of the mean. What I want to emphasize in this video that this is really just the difference of, uh, of two areas. So we want to find the p-norm of 69 minus 60. So you take that larger area minus that smaller area. And so we can solve this problem just like that. The area between 60 and 69, this is more precise than what you'll get by estimating with the uh, empirical rule. Now, we did not use the empirical rule here. I emphasized the fact that we can just use p-norm of the larger value minus p-norm of the smaller value to find the area between two values.